All right, it's been a year and a half since the last update. Here we are, let's try to sneak up on, whoa, that's a lot of food in there. Oh, I gotta fix that thing. All right, well, Jarula's in there with hundreds if not thousands of guppies, so. The rest of the turtles we had to move downstairs, which I'm not gonna show, because this is only like a 221 science thing. Um, that's kind of part of Steam X there, even though this is too. So, um, got a lot of different kales growing. We have our tomatoes growing. Um, some juvenile tomatoes there. Um, Jameer, if you're watching this, this is what I was talking about with all the Caribbean time. This pool, unfortunately, was uh, we lost the whole pool during quarantine, uh, which was a which was a disaster. So we lost all the tilapia, and now we're remediating the water with duckweed. So that's a separate experiment we're running. Uh, so you see, there's some tomatoes ready to go there. I'll probably get them before I leave, or maybe Margaret will pick them later. Um, some more tomatoes. Here's our tilapia. So uh, check out the size of the biggest tilapia now been a while since I posted anything from here but ch check her out I can feed her right out of my hand check this it's about 16 16 17 inches everything's they're very aggressive now because the water temperature right now you can see it's 75.3 so as the water temperature increases the, the more light shining in here too um, these are uh, a tropical species so their activity their activity levels definitely increase with increased water temperature so you see the size of her mouth compared to that ball that black ball is about the size of a softball check her out mr nadius and i unfortunately when quarantine first started we had to catch a lot of a tilap or tilapia and um, we got this to the point now with a couple hundred tilapia we have here where we can actually um, outsource them to kids for food. But unfortunately when the quarantine started we had to catch them and um, we had to freeze them just to limit the load on the tanks and the pools. Even though we did that, we still caught about 20 out of there, but it wasn't enough because um, we had that massive die off just because I wasn't able to get in here um, like I was in the past. So uh, we had another problem with flea beetles. They kind of took out the Carla and um, Diana's peppers here and, and Freddie and Roger from the year before. But I actually recently sprayed them with diatom powder. And uh, pretty cool, but not for the insects. So it's actually like walking on glass. So you can see the powder there. So the insects actually will get pierced. Their body will get pierced with the diatoms, which is a, an actual protist. So let's throw some more food in there before we head out for the weekend with these guys. I'll feed them again off camera because they all tilapia want to do is eat. All right, so this is our goldfish. Put some food in there, even though I fed them already. They also have um, automatic dispensers for food too. So they're all doing well. So I got about 13 of these automatic feeders when quarantine first started just to have some uh, consistency with uh, food deployment for the fish. So overall, the greenhouse, uh, our fig tree is still doing well. I think I'm gonna take that and put that outside. We also have a, um, a, a larger, uglier looking specimen here. C. Brown. He dunked on OD. C. Brown's trying to dunk on our, our new rim here. So we're doing a, we're doing a special tour. Then. All right, please hop in. You wanna ride home? No, I'll walk, I gotta film this video. So, unless you leave it in like 10 minutes, but. All right, yeah, give me 10 minutes. All right, so that's the greenhouse. All right, so let's keep on rolling this video. We'll take it out here. Um, th nothing's really changed, unfortunately, with the door because really no new pictures, right? Back room is kind of a, a little more messy. We still have underwater robotics team there. We still have the uh, REM team. A lot of this, I've just been collecting toys and all sorts of things to distribute to the kids like I normally do, but unfortunately you guys haven't been here. Um, I took down all of that. That's what the kids made for support for the greenhouse. The tomatoes were kind of going crazy and a lot of them died. There was a rogue mouse in there that was eating everything. Um, you can see today we've expanded with the help of Miss Ursic and Miss Santani. We've actually expanded um, 
what uh, Anna and Michelle started with the ABC project, the um, artistically beautifying classrooms. So we call this the beautified brick. Um, then I also run that every year where I ask, ask the kids um, what, what characteristics do they want out of their ideal educator. So these bricks are now ready for placement. Once you guys all come back, we'll start over here. Um, this was originally started by Giovanna. Anna kind of took over um, with Giovanna's commitments to high tech and unfortunately Anna never got a chance to finish it because of the quarantine. So this is waiting for some students of the future to finish the, uh, the piece back here. Uh, I did some work over the last two days to basically get everything back in shape. This is the African catfish tank. It's doing well now. You can see the feeder systems on that. Uh, we lost the pleco. Um, and here, the clown fish is still in here. The clown loach is still in here too, but I don't see it right now. Lungfish. Oh, there's that funny looking homo sapien again. The lungfish is in here. Lungfish has actually has gotten a little bit bigger. You can see that its tail actually protrudes out of there now. So that's snout to tail. And look, it doesn't even fit in that PVC, which is about uh, 11 inches or so. Hey, what's up, Ms. Cordero? All right, we're back. Ms. Cordero just had to tell me something. Um, Jada, if you're seeing this, I remember every day you used to turn this on for me. So I'm gonna turn it off today, but that's cool. Mr. Brown gave this to me and uh, kind of became a cool thing last year. Uh, nothing else really over here. Things are doing well. Unfortunately, what um, Jazz and generally planted died. Um, I recently planted some new stuff there, but that's uh, struggling a little bit too. So some updates here. We have Julia, she's sitting on an unfertilized egg and always on watch is the son, Ethan, All right? Uh, if you notice, Carlos is not there. Unfortunately, Mr. Natus took home all three of them. And Carlos, on the way back um, to, to 28, um, he uh, unfortunately had a heart attack. So we lost Carlos. Uh, extension of learning wheels still, still ready to spin. We've got some more bricks ready to go. Mr. Brown, this is uh, Miss Huck's old pterodactyl she left. Mr. Brown put a brown buck on it. Uh, again, we have some more bricks ready to go there. Two tilapia still going strong in here. Uh, aquatic frogs from the last video are gone. So this tank is just basically has some amphipods in there. Immerse, activate yourselves, hopefully still going strong with that. This is the snail samurai area there, which is now basically inhabited by guppies. And it's our duckweed culturing area too for our duckweed team, which is now our DIO team. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? I don't think too much over here. You can see this is the new setup here with the plexiglass. This is uh, where we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the Miss and Tanny captive back there. <laughs> um, some more Miss and Tanny's work with another brick back there, and we gotta get a new home for the garbage can because we don't want to, you know, put something over that brick too. The ocean was cleaned. I did a, a ten-gallon water change on that. You can see uh, Nemo's now visible. Nemo's still going strong. About 11, 11 to twelve years old there. The superhero tank, unfortunately, uh, Thor lost both his hammer and his support system, so now he's staring at his brother, who's caged up, and Iron Man's protecting. And now we have Beast, who took the spot. So, Daphne, if you get a chance to watch this, we need to get, um, send me a link for a little Winter Soldier and a little, Fal a little Falcon, so we can put them in there. Daphne and I like to talk about that show on Disney+. Plus. Um... Some old Trapasquitos tech. We got Anna back there, ABC project, and my man Joe Kelly. Mr. Brown found that today uh, when we hung them all on our windows. Uh, some of them, some of them uh, were removed, and we found a couple. This was the desk painted by uh, the kids. They started signing it. Um, hopefully, we can continue those autographs with the intent that uh, this thing will be basically filled with autographs in the next couple years. Tilapia here is doing well. This is our showcase tilapia. Um, for display purposes so people can see what a tilapia actually looks like because they can't really tell from the ones in the pool. This is the old Stax uh, hydroponic system um, with a vine up there ready for the plants to grow. What else, what else, what else, what else? Got our green heart, got our other green heart up there. Victoria gave me, um, I don't know, I think that may be it. So, this is it. This is these, these placements now with the little cards there for ABC spots with, um, with the different placement of the kids, hopefully that when they come in here, so they don't sit in the same seat in the course of the day. So this is kind of what the room is looking at, looking like now. We, we continue to make it evolve, make it get better. You see all our flags are up there now. We did that last year. There's some pictures on the, on the IG with the kids under the flags. I remember one of Kaden and Kayla and Asana. Um, I think that's it. So 
signing out from hashtag 221 science hopefully everyone's well um hopefully you can look at this and reflect on maybe your noah neil maya or malak and can say wow this has come a long way since we built it many years ago because you four are now in college believe it or not and hopefully you can kind of reminisce on the room a little bit or if you're a little one who's yet to come in here um just know one day this room is ready for you to make your own memories and leave your own legacy like all these people on this uh this wall did and everybody else as well so we'll leave you with uh the abc project today all right everyone be safe all right you know what i'm down here anyway so before i left carbon x these are your uh, 500 gallons for for next year hopefully when we play soccer we'll have a little small goal too here's one of the 600 gallon pools we have uh, quite a few tilapia in there some, some guppies they live with too um, you can see the geranium the mosquito plants doing well caribbean thyme all over the place more tilapia in there growing some kale in there and this is where the majority of the turtles are you can see the four turtles in there some more natural filtration uv light so the underwater uh, well this is the um the aquaponics lab all right now this is really it be safe